Hey guys, so this is gonna be a project for me to get this thing seated over here. Neighbor's doing some landscaping and I saw him steal my shovel on my security camera. So if you're thinking about doing anything, I've got you on camera. I had a sprinkler head right here. I wasn't gonna move it, I was just gonna leave it right there. But it really needs to be over here so I can do a 180 spray. Got this uh, funny pipe right here. I need to extend all the way over here. I put this pipe on here so I can extend this. These things suck to get on without the heat gun. Just kind of wiggle it. Like this. So I want this to come over here like that. I know that this is kind of a deep trench for this sprinkler line, but I want it to freeze, you know what I mean? So, nasty this dirt is. It's pretty much rock. See this? Pit run. All right, so now that I've got the length good, I just need to put this pipe back on here. Okay, put that there like that. So the reason to use this is so then you can adjust it like this, like this, and put it anywhere you want. So that's the reason for this guy. So now I gotta try to hold this and backfill this at the same time. It's not that difficult, but So I want to try to use the good dirt packed around here. I want to make this sprinkler head as straight as possible. All right, so now I can backfill this. Hopefully I can get some decent soil on the top, kind of pull out some of these bigger rocks. So that's pretty well fixed. Those two heads, I've fixed those. You see those ruts over there, those have got to get fixed. I'm going to use a little mini tiller fix that and then I need to haul off this junky dirt and then get some decent soil to put in that hole right there so this little Honda GX 25 machine is sweet it's an awesome little garden filler it's a little bit tough to get started Once you get this thing started, you really gotta just let it warm up. You try to just go for it, it, uh, it doesn't like that. So I wanna use this to break up this clay over here. So you can clearly see what happened here. Somebody came through here with a car. It was at 1.50 in the morning. It was a white Tahoe or Suburban. I saw it on my camera. Just gotta find out who it was to so go bust their chops. Pit run that I shoveled out of this hole, gotta get rid of. There's some decent stuff in here, like topsoil, like that piece right there, that's decent. This one's decent, decent. For the most part, this stuff is just pit run. I just need to get it out of here. And that was what was under the, inside the trench. And the grass is basically was the grass was going to grow in there and that's pretty much what is in the grass from here to here if you guys are on the fence about getting one of these gorilla carts i'm telling you they're awesome i don't even get paid by gorilla or anything i don't even get anything free from them they gave me a couple of carts for free actually but i'm not promoting them in any way but they are awesome So she doesn't want to go. If I try to give gas, it dies. It's probably out of gas. Could be the reason. Yeah, sure enough, no gas in there. So these sure cans as well, these things are worth their money. They're expensive gas cans. I think the five gallons, like 50 bucks or something like that. This one's probably 35 or 30, but they are awesome. I think this is a local company. And I don't get paid anything from these guys either. 
and they don't give me anything for free but i tell you what they're worth it these are the best this is the best gas can in my opinion i've tried the little no spill gas can as well and i like this one better without a doubt this is the winner for gas can unless you get one of those racing motocross type style cans that kind of looks like a big canister that you turn upside down with a hose on the top those are pretty good as well but for just general around the house lawn work type stuff this is the gas can to get so let's see if i can get this going now sweet so it's gonna work so this is a decent place for this just to have like a, a, dry, a little drive area so then as I drive my truck over this, it just kind of flattens out and creates a nice, nice drive that doesn't ever get muddy, which is nice. So I've got a little dirt pile right here. Brought in a couple of loads of soil a few years ago. I just kind of keep this pile of soil here for instances like this. Soil's really not that great of soil, but it's been sitting in that pile. It's been sitting in this pile for a few years, so I guess it's okay. Pretty much took out a full load of that rock. So I pretty much need a full load to, to put back in the hole. So this is well water comes right out of the ground. It's not filtered or anything at this point. It's good stuff. I haven't been able to water this section for several days because I gotta let this, this place dry out so I can level it properly. And those ruts that were caused by that driver at 2 a.m. set me back. Those ruts needed to get uh, broken up and fixed. So that's pretty decent right there. Probably will get some settling right here in this trench. And then I can fill it in with sand next year or next fall. If you guys haven't seen the video that I made about this drag, you should go check it out. This thing is awesome. Use it several times a year. All right, so here goes. Gonna come out here with the rake level out these little piles here i think even james lewis has used this drag brian lloyd has used it james lewis jason polson i've used it who else lots of people have used this thing it wasn't that expensive maybe maybe fifty dollars in steel forty dollars in steel and my friend let me use his welder. He welded it for me. Easy. Love this thing. So I'm just going to spread this out, even this out like this. So when you're planting grass, you want to make sure you have a nice soft seed bed. So I'm afraid to say that I cannot find my landscape rake and I'm wondering if the landscapers next door took it. They took my shovel. I wouldn't be surprised if they took my landscape rake. This is really annoying. All right. So you can only get it so perfect. So you turn the zone on and see if I've got 
coverage everywhere. This one's spraying willy-nilly right here. Fix this one. That one's spraying so far. These are all the same heads. And this one over here isn't spraying for jack. I don't know. I wonder if it's just dialed way down. This one right here, shooting too far out into the street. Wow, that's fantastic. Looks like they're all covering pretty decent. All right guys, so this has got to be the case. You know what I mean? Just gotta have this here. Because the idiots will come through here with their cars, with their bikes, and they will ride and drive all over my precious, precious lawn here, or my precious seating project. You cannot prepare yourself enough for idiots. If they see somewhere they can drive, they're gonna drive there. Man, that's hard. I'm not going in there. Holy crap, that is in there. That is some hard ground. Wow. 